So we are going to make that exact same mask as you saw in the preview and we are going to do that with uh, roto brush. Now before we start roto brushing, um, I always first add a curves to this layer because that just makes it a little bit easier to mask because the background is like super dark so we can just make these shadows a bit brighter so it's easier for us to mask. And then I'm also going to add some sharpen um, and this will also help us with masking. I just put this to like 35 or something. And don't worry though because of course your clip now looks super ugly. But at the end we are going to remove this and um, yeah everything will be fine. So now we're going to go uh, double click on our layer. Now for completely beginners or new people uh, what Rotobrush does is you can just like draw uh, the character just like this and it will just mask for us and if we go frames forward you will see that it will automatically adjust as best as possible and the more you mask the better Rotobrush knows what you want to mask and it will be easy and all that now um, I'm just going to mask this and let's say you accidentally mask um, something you don't want which you can do is hold alt or your keyboard and just remove this just like that um, or you can always just go uh, with Control and Z back if you want to but yeah that's basically it so I'm probably just going to uh, mask with you guys like the first frame so this is like a yeah bad part so I'm just going to try and remove this and um, after I've mask like the first frame i'm probably just gonna speed up the process a bit because you know masking can take a long time and yeah you don't want to see someone mask for like 15 minutes of course because that's super boring oh and also if you want to um move around press h iron keyboard you can move around and scroll wheel to zoom in and out and alt and w to open up rotor brushing again If you, for example, the hair, if the hair is like this, you don't have to worry about that that much because if you watch it like this, you don't really notice it that much that you kind of like didn't mask the hair properly. So yeah, you can just leave it like that. That's why rotor brush is super handy, but also quite annoying because hair is super annoying to mask, but it's just, you know, you can just mask so fast that it's like super easy to do yeah this is basically the first frame and if we go forward this frame you can see that most of the parts are like nicely masked already but you know you can just um adjust this like so and um yeah like i said now i'm just gonna speed up the process you do want to like stay till the end or skip to the end or whatever you want uh because i'm just gonna, gonna show you how you can remove this without uh, messing up your mask because if i just remove this right now this can uh, mess up my mask um but yeah like for example here if i just remove this you can see that it will ruin it like that you don't want that of course so um, keep watching I guess or just skip to the end and
Now this part right here can be a little bit tricky because out of nowhere there's like a bunch of light like that. So you just gotta like do this like very detailed like so. In this case it's super easy to be honest but like as you can see because this is so light it will like automatically remove the sword too. So you just gotta like do it very detailed like so. I mean this should be fine. Now once you're done with that, it should look like this. And um, what you want to do is before you remove these two effects, you first want to click on freeze. Because if you remove these effects, uh, as you can see, this will affect your mask. So um, like this looks completely ruined. So first what you want to do is like I said, you want to click on freeze right here. This will freeze every single frame. This might take a little bit of uh, time um, but after this is done now it's done just uh, yeah as you can see you should see this right here so now you can just remove uh, these two effects like so and the mask stays the exact same now if you preview it you can see um, that it looks like this pretty clean right and this is probably the fastest way to mask and um yeah that's it so i hope this tutorial helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comments if it worked i'll see you next time have a good day